Innovate. Enable. years ago, a US-based company called 3M made its way to India and joined hands with the then Birla Group to form Birla 3M on a mission to innovate across sectors and apply science to make life easier. The company has since gone public and been rechristened as 3M India. Today, its brands Posted and Scott Bright are favorites in millions of Indian homes. And apart from these consumer products, the company is a pioneer across diverse B2B product segments like safety markers for roads, noise cancellation headphones for aviation engineers, tubes that transport water through desert regions, car care and healthcare delivery products, and lots more. On the show today, I'm exploring a company that came to India in the late 1980s and today, of course, it's very popular across the world in categories like safety, healthcare, electronics, energy and lots more. I'm at the India headquarters of 3M in Bengaluru and now we are in conversation with the India MD of 3M, Debrati Sen. Debrati, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. It's a pleasure talking to you. 30 years of... 3M being in India, you've of course been there for 20 of those 30 years with this incredible brand. So uh, first up, take us through some of those biggest milestones that the brand has achieved, particularly in India in the last uh, 30 years. Thank you and good morning, Radhu. Uh, what we have uh, done over the last 30 years that we've been here is really become one with the Indian consumer. So 3M started in 1988, exactly right out here. Uh, this is our registered office in Electronic City in Namba, Bengaluru. And we've been very proud to get to know the Indian consumer even better over the years. In 1992, we became a public company. So that's when we became Birla 3M India Limited. And today, of course, we are 3M India Limited. Um, several verticals where we are present, you know us through many of our brands. You know us through 3M. That's pretty ubiquitous. You know us through Scotchbrite. You know us through 3M Car Care. So it's been a fantastic and fabulous and journey. And post-it notes. And post-it notes. <laughs> That's almost become sort of synonymous yes. with the with the brand itself, you know. Yes. So, uh, if you were to look back on this magnificent 30-year-old journey, uh, what would you say were maybe say top two or three big achievements that the brand had in India? Um, several, but let me uh, talk about some of our earliest ones so you can connect with it. Uh, so, when I went to college, I had a TVS 50 uh, moped that I drove. Uh, from the mopeds and uh, motorcycles, how they look back then to today, you'll see a dramatic difference in the graphics on the motorcycles. So we invented that category of motorcycle graphics. And today it's become an expression of personal achievement, personalization, however you look at it. So that's a big category that we created um, way back in the 80s, you know, starting um, as early as late 1980s to today. So big category. Several other additional uh, categories that we've created, um, obviously looking back at the Indian kitchen. We transformed the Indian kitchen with Scotch Bride scouring pads. Today, your buy would not work for you. She would say, Madam Scotch Bride, pad did in Amerili. <laughs> so it's a very different world today, including sponge wipes, uh, you know, several products that we've introduced for efficiency of the, of the Indian woman in the kitchen. What would you say are the biggest pillars of 3M that have really kept it relevant through the years, particularly to the Indian market? And did you have to customize a lot for the Indian consumer? Absolutely. So um, what keeps our company alive is our curiosity, our scientific curiosity. So it's all about bringing 3M science to life, transforming lives, transforming homes, transforming companies. And what we always do is listen and observe. So as we see our customers, our consumers at work at play, we can observe where are these opportunities that we can come in and play and put in a transformational product that can change how they live and how they work. brand philosophy of science applied to life, 3M works hard to solve local problems in different geographies around the world by innovating constantly. In India, its innovation centers at Bengaluru and Gurugram fuel local product development and ensure that the company is always ahead of the curve. 
You know, the Trium India, uh, the focus of the R&D is to localize and for the local market here. So most of our work has been to develop products for the Indian market. An example would be right now for the infrastructure for the highway signage. You'll see a lot of our products around messaging systems to protect from a road safety point of view. In the consumer market, we are developing products for the local Indian consumer, for example, the brooms and the mops, which are very different from what's been used in the U.S. So those are all some of the local innovation we've been focusing, but primarily around infrastructure, consumer, Railways, for example, is a key account for us, looking at what we can do there. Healthcare, new opportunities in air quality, how do we improve air quality? Those are all the actions we are taking right now. In the global journey of 3M, how important has India's role been, particularly 3M India and the Indian market in terms of contribution to revenue? 3M has been uh, very deeply invested in India for 30 years that we've been existing, um, and especially as we became uh, 3M India Limited, you know, when we became uh, the 3M company that we are in, the, in this country, we're a public company too. So in 3M's world, we're the only public company outside of 3M Corporation. So we get a lot of attention, a lot of hand-holding, a lot of specific interests in figuring out how can 3M serve the Indian consumer, Indian customer much better. Um, so I have a lot of visibility um, because of that, by virtue of that. Uh, and we've had, you know, our CEO come and visit. We've had our heads of international come and visit. Typically in a year, we would see five to six executive management visits. These would be corporate operating committee members. In January of this year, we had an opportunity to bring our head of technology, our chief technology officer, Ashish Kanpur, for a meeting with Prime Minister Modi. So we have a lot of visibility. We're very deeply invested. We're here to stay, and we really look forward to growing and serving the consumer better. How tough is competition with the Chinese market? Um, you know, uh, Chinese... Uh, manufacturers are there in several uh, categories, obviously across the world, it doesn't matter where 3M is uh, in India or elsewhere, but I think what's really important is to stay close to the customer. So the investments that we have and the 110 scientists that we have, the 1,600 odd employees that we have, that cannot be replicated very easily. So we're there to listen to the customers, we're sitting with them, we're observing their operations, we're observing their behaviors in the kitchen or uh, elsewhere, and we can really serve once you understand the customer. So the differentiation that comes in 3M products is how well we understand uh, the particular problem we are trying to solve. And you just spoke of scientists, and we are here at this beautiful R&D facility of yours. So tell us, what kind of investments does the company make in research and development, and uh, how important is the Bangalore R&D Center for 3M globally? Um, two very good questions. First of all, we are defined, as you know, when people think of innovation, 3M is one of the first names that comes to their mind. We are defined over the years by the investment we make in R&D in total. So about 5 to 6% of our total annual turnover is invested in R&D, no matter where we are working in the world. That's the average that we aspire for. In India, too, we're spending over 5% of our turnover in R&D. In India, the difference is we are a, a, a more deeply invested lab, so every country doesn't have the lab of the capability that we have. Uh, we have a fully full-fledged analytical lab that's based right out here. All our researchers are working for the Indian consumer, but also we have supporting laboratories in Korea, China, Germany, US. Um, yeah, those are the ones that also support us. So 3M believes in this um, integrated network of R&D professionals. We work without boundaries for a, for a reason, for you know, by design. So the 110 that you see out here, they're a fraction of what we actually have working on India and Indian consumers. Wonderful. And uh, 3M has a number of loyal employees, and I've met a couple of you. You've yourself <laughs> been here for over 20 yes. years. So really, uh, what is the culture in the company that makes people stick on for long? And uh, I'm sure you get a lot of opportunity for growth, considering you're leading India region now. So. Um, is that the core idea, why people stick on with the company? Um, there are several, but I would probably point to two that I think have made a huge difference to most of our journeys. The reason, from my, you know, from my perspective, is because we make sure there's so many paths for an employee to explore. You can look around you. We don't allow people to get bored. And we make sure that technologies are connected across several application areas, several verticals. So it keeps people connected, engaged, as well as excited for all these spaces that we get to operate in. Um, the other piece is core and fundamental to us. We have been recognized now fourth, in your, fourth year in a row as Ethosphere is one of the most ethical companies in the world. 
the, when you find that connection where your value system is absolutely in congruence with the value system of the company, it keeps you connected. We work for a greater purpose in 3M. If you talk to the 3Mers, they get up in the morning to change the world. And working in this sort of an ethical, true company, it's, it's very hard to find. And once you find it, you just stick here for good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you to hold that thought. On that note, we are going to take a short break right now, but stay with us because the conversation with Debrati Sen, the Managing Director of the India Region of 3M, continues on the other side, and we are coming to you from the Electronic City in Bengaluru. On the show today, we are exploring a brand that possibly touches your life in one way or another every single day. I am in conversation with Debharati Sen, the Managing Director of India Region of 3M at Bengaluru. Another aspect that uh, you know I came across during my research about 3M was that uh, you do believe in doing business responsibly. So um, when it comes to sustainability and the environment and uh, there is a lot of talk around the world right now, uh, it is no longer a choice, it's really a necessity to really do business responsibly. So at 3M, what are the sort of green business practices that you follow in India and around the world for that matter? Yeah, so, so for us, the hygiene level of green practices as we look at it, sustainability is how sustainable are we? So from a carbon footprint perspective, our, our facilities, our plants are very much focused on energy reduction, footprint reduction. Uh, Ranjan Gao, uh, our, our marquee plant and a manufacturing facility, has just turned on a huge solar power generation capability. Uh, we, are 20 per, we, we are saving over 25% of our energy needs, so that's off grid. Um, and hopefully in future we can even supply into the grid. So we're very excited about how we can reduce our footprint. Uh, but more importantly, where we're going now and thereafter is how can we help our customers reduce their footprint. So whether it be in automotive, uh, you know, liquids that we are making that help run the engines better, more efficiently, uh, diesel uh, fuel cleaning systems, because a lot of what happens today is energy wastage, you know, preventable energy wastage. So we try to make products that actually bring down carbon footprints of our customers. Uh, packaging, uh, looking at green material into scotch as an example. So at every level, not just for large corporations that we serve, but also for the homemaker at home, are we really helping them reduce the consumption that they have of fossil fuel-led products. That's wonderful. Uh Let's talk a little bit about the marketing strategy of the company in India as well. So what's the marketing mix that you follow and uh, in India particularly do you have to really customize your marketing, your ways of marketing as well? Well I would say the, the applications and the messages are fairly customized, right? Because the application areas are different, the, the market practices are different, so we focus on making it connect to the Indian consumer. I can't come in here and talk about what happens in, in Japan, Japan market for, for instance. Uh, but typically reaching to our consumers happens through the lens and the filter of the products that they see. So you wouldn't necessarily see 3M do a lot of television advertising for, an inst for instance, but very much so on digital. So we can reach out to a lot of folks uh, through new emerging mediums. Uh, we're active in social media. We believe that our consumers really care about how 3M is transforming their world. Um, when you look at uh, a doctor, right, a, a medical student coming out of uh, college, their first buy is typically a 3M Litman stethoscope. Now we have an active social media community for Litman where people want to talk about the next color, cardio. Um, you know, my nephew graduated from Cambridge and I, his first ask was give me a Litman stethoscope. I had it customized, it has his name on it. So there are ways to reach our consumers. So we're very smart about how we market ourselves. Uh, our diversity doesn't allow us to just go and you know, fill the TV with our brand. It's more customized, making sure people understand why we make a difference to their lives. As far as the larger ecosystem in India is concerned, uh, with this government we've heard of several schemes. There's the Make in India that's going on. There's also the Digital India mission that's uh, going on. Uh, so in a connected knowledge economy, how do you see 3M geared up to contribute both to the economy and to the brand itself in India? That's a great question. You know, we're very bullish about the policy environment that we're seeing right now. Um, significant tailwind from large reforms. Um, so from our perspective, all the initiatives that you mentioned, including Digital India, uh, you know, the defense policy, we, we see significant uh, opportunity for us to uh, work and you know, operate and also contribute and change India's position in the world. 
two industries that we've worked with very, very heavily in the past. Both are seen by the government as examples of success in Make in India, uh, automotive and pharmaceutical. So you hear about those two all the time. 3M played a big role in both. So we're looking forward to what else is going to be areas of focus. Power is a big play for us. Um, defense is going to be a big play for us. So we see the runway, not just for us, but really helping these companies get to the global stage and make a difference in the world. And tell us a little bit about your manufacturing facilities as well. Uh, I believe you use state-of-the-art technology. And yes. how often does technology upgradation really happen here? Every day. So, you know, before I talk about our manufacturing facilities in India, and there are four of them, uh, let me speak a little bit about how 3M looks at technology. So you can see all our development uh, side, our pure research and development side. But we actually have a full research and development side that we call Manufacturing Process Technology Group. So those are the folks who are forever looking at how do we make this better, cheaper. At the end of the day, technology needs to be affordable for the masses. So my manufacturing technology group globally looks at how do we make it more and more affordable, how do we make it more and more efficient. In India, we have four facilities. You're, you're in one of them. This is the technology center. We call it customer technology center. But we have the manufacturing facility here that makes all the auto graphics that I talked about, the motorcycle as well as the four-wheeler car graphics. In Ranjangao, we have our marquee facility, our largest facility in Pune. We have another facility in Pune on the other side in a place called Pimpri that makes our electrical and electronics equipment. And then we have a facility in Ahmedabad where we make our pipe coating as well as all other automotive uh, chemicals business. 3M India has been contributing significantly to Make in India since much before it became a mission of the government. The company's manufacturing facilities at Pune, Ahmedabad and Bengaluru constantly churn out products that meet the varied demands of the Indian consumer. Ranjangao plant is the right place where we can demonstrate the intent of 3M India to invest in manufacturing in India for local production. Uh, this particular plant, as you see, supports 15 business divisions. Uh, it employs several key technology platforms that 3M is famous for. And for the last several years, uh, we have been continuously investing in terms of operations. Uh, and for next strategic plan horizon of five years, we'll continue to invest in uh, operations for 3M India. As far as innovation is concerned, how do you drive the innovation culture, uh, particularly in India? And it is a hotbed of startups. We see India, we see Bangalore in particular coming up. We call it the Silicon Valley of India. Uh, so, but within 3M, how do you really drive the innovation culture amongst all your people? You know, innovation in 3M, um, that's the foundation of who we are. So across the world, we have these you know, the, the core, the bed, the foundational system of innovation that anchors on several uh, principles, as we call them. Uh, the first is our 15% rule. I'm sure you've heard about it, but 15% of the time, any of our employees can choose to follow a path of passion, and we as management, we as leaders, leadership can't tell them not to do that. So that freedom, that creativity, the ability to sit and think how we're going to transform the world, it has to be institutionally protected. So we institutionally protect that. The other part that's really core and fundamental, we call it our McKnight principles, one of our uh, longest serving CEOs who really made 3M who it is today. He spoke about the fact that management needs to hire good people and leave them alone. Right. Management cannot be destructively critical. We literally live by that. If I'm not doing it, the feedback, there are lots of systems by which the feedback will come up and they'll say, mm, this person is not really a 3M leader. So we institutionalize innovation in the company and then we put a very good process around it to scale it up. Because it can't just be ideas. Ideas, we need to have this big funnel of ideas that come in and then a solid process that helps them get to scale up an actual commercialization. Great. So from here on, what's your vision for 3M? Where do you want to take it? You're touching 30 years. Think about 40 and tell us what are your plans for 3M? Actually, we think about 100. So we have lived about 115 years. This year, it's the 115th year of the, of the company, 30 years in India. So as the corporation plans for the next 100, we plan for the next 30. So seriously looking at expanding our India operations, looking at making a difference in the lives of companies, individuals, um, and of course, making sure that we are doubling our company, hopefully in the next five odd years. So that's really what we are looking at. Uh, it requires good people. So we continue to stay focused on um, our leaders, our team members who are in the company today, and then also bringing in talent 
as quickly as we can. Um, we want to share this fantastic company uh, with our future employees. Wonderful. And uh, your personal success mantra? <laughs> um, work harder than anybody else you know. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today, Debruti. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Well, with that, it's a wrap of this episode, but come back to us next time and we'll bring you yet another incredible story of a brand that has become a name to reckon with. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Goodbye. Focus. Ideal. Innovate. Enable. 